Hi guys, today I am going to say about the types of transformers. Okay, so the types of transformers are categorized based on type of construction, based on phases, based on application. Okay, based on type of construction, we have core type transformer and shell type transformer. So in case of core type transformer, So, the construction of core is like this. Okay, this is the construction of core in case of core type transformers. But whereas in case of shell type transformer, the construction of core is like this. Here it is a three limbed one. Three limbs in the sense of three legs like this. Okay, so here in case of core type transformer, the core is surrounded by the winding. In case of core type transformer, what is the first thing? Core is surrounded by winding. Core is surrounded by winding. Whereas in case of shell type transformer, the winding is surrounded by core. In case of shell type transformer, winding is surrounded by core. Okay, here there is no flux division will take place in case of core type transformer. Okay, see, this is the way how the flux will flows. There is no flux division is taking place in case of core type transformer it is a series magnetic circuit okay but in this case the flux division is taking place okay the flux division is taking place so it is it is called parallel magnetic circuit it is called parallel magnetic circuit so uh, in general these are economical is core type core type are most economical for high voltage applications high voltage applications and these are mostly used for small kva rating small kva so these are uh, used for high current applications high current applications and large kva rating large kva so shell type are shell type are economical for high current high current rating high current and large kva rating large kva rating okay and next is based on the number of phases okay generally uh, based on the number of phases in the sense Depending on the requirement, the transformers are categorized into single phase transformer and three phase transformers. Single phase transformers and three phase transformers. Okay. Uh, in general, mostly we will use three phase transformers only. So, in a single phase transformers, in the sense, uh, we will use mostly in case of rural areas. Okay. In general, we will use three phase transformers. Uh, and uh, in all the three phases, that is along R and Y, B, all the three phases, we will distribute the load equally in case of uh, three phase transformers. Okay. So, it is uh, very um, less in use, single phase transformers. We are not that much using single phase transformers uh, in the uh, distribution system. And next thing is power transformers and distribution transformers. Okay, these are uh, at most important uh, types of transformers. Okay, power transformers and distribution transformers. Okay, so these are available in the transmission network. Transmission network of power system. Power transformers are available in the transmission network. Distribution transformers are available in the distribution network. Okay, so generally 
in case of a power transformer power transformer the transmitting voltage is greater than 33 kV 33 kV but whereas in case of distribution transformers it is less than 33 kV less than 33 kV less than 33 kV in the sense for uh, domestic purpose and small scale industries like that okay so now clearly i will differentiate the power transformers and distribution transformers power transformer and distribution transformer okay so where these power transformers are available power transformers are available in transmission network transmission network so this distribution transformers are available in a distribution network distribution network okay and the second thing is the second thing is power transformers used for high voltage transmission high voltage transmission that is greater than 33 kv and these are for less than 33 kv and this transformers rating is generally greater than 1 mea and this rating is less than 1 mva mostly distribution transformers rating is less than 1 mva and the power transformers we will see the power transformers in power stations power stations uh, distribution transformers will observe them at a road sites road sites generally we will call this uh, uh, distribution transformers are, are substations we will call distribution substations okay so these are not directly connected to the consumers okay power transformers are not directly connected to consumers so they are not connecting to consumers in the sense will observe this power transformers in power stations okay so as a whole the load fluctuations are less load fluctuations are less in power transformer and in case of uh, distribution transformer load fluctuations are more load fluctuations are are more why because a distribution transformer is directly connected to the consumers directly con connected to the uh, consumers either lt consumers or the, the domestic consumers or industrial consumers whatever it may be okay so if you consider a home simply the load will changes continuously okay load will changes changes continuously which leads to continuous load changes load fluctuations over the transformers the load fluctuations on distribution transformers are very high in general power transformers are loaded for 24 hours they are loaded 24 hours fully loaded but the distribution transformers are not like that not like that okay uh, they are loaded um, mostly uh, from 6 to 9 evening evening 6 to 9 uh, like that morning 5 to 8 like that okay like that uh, they are distributed uh, they are uh, loaded okay so these are the some uh, these are some basic things about a uh, power transformer and distribution transformers okay thank you